Another way to do the straight leg uh, raising test is with the patient seated. Um, and this begins to get into what uh, I refer to as Waddell science. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, if you just with the patient um, in a seated position, if you straighten the knee, if the patient has a radiculopathy, you've done the same thing as happened uh, with the straight leg raising test with the patient lying down. So this should reproduce their uh, radicular pain. Um, so if the patient has real radiculopathy, this should cause them to have pain. Frequently the patient will lie back, they'll, they'll lean back this way, trying to take pressure off the nerve root, trying to take the tension and the stretch off the nerve root. Okay, that's a significant finding. <clears throat> so that's a positive seated straight leg raising sign. Gordon Waddell uh, was a Scottish orthopedist who wrote a paper back in 1980 describing the signs uh, that he encountered in patients who had low back pain um, that he thought was um, psychogenic, functional, um, non-organic. Uh, he thought these signs were useful in picking out patients who um, did not have organic low back pain <clears throat> and they have been promulgated as uh, Waddell signs. Subsequent investigations have shown that uh, there was a bit of overreaction to Waddell signs and that um, many patients were labeled as being non-organic who in fact did have a significant uh, back disease. Um, so what we now think is that uh, if you have three or more of these Waddell signs, then that's an indicator that there are some significant psychosocial issues that would predict that that patient is not going to respond well to back surgery. That's a conservative way to put it. Uh, <clears throat> there's a high correlation uh, with depression, anxiety, um, hypochondriasis, uh, and so forth, if you have three or more of these Waddell signs. Uh, but many patients who have very bona fide back problems may have one or two Waddell signs, so uh, you have to be careful not to overinterpret them. But um, one of the things that Waddell described is this uh, phenomenon that we just mentioned of a discrepancy between the seated straight leg raise and the lying straight leg raise. So that's one of the Waddell signs. Another is um, pain caused by procedures that um, don't really that should not really reproduce pain, okay? So if the patient is complaining of low back pain and you press on their head, does that do anything to you? And the patient says that causes back pain, that makes no sense. So that's a positive Waddell sign. Another Waddell sign is, can you stand up for me? Have the patient turn this way. Turn a little bit further. The simulated rotation of the lumbosacral spine. Okay, so what you do is you hold the patient's um, arms to their side and you pin their arms to the pelvis and then you rotate. So in this position, there's no relative motion between the pelvis and the lumbosacral spine. Everything is fixed. So since there's no relative motion, there should be no pain. So this should not cause back pain in a patient who has an organic reason for their low back pain. So production of pain with simulated rotation is a positive Waddell sign. Another Waddell sign is what's called the touch-me-not phenomenon. So you're examining for tenderness and the patient is just extremely tender. No matter where you touch and no matter how lightly you touch, the patient has uh, an exaggerated reaction, extreme tenderness. Uh, that's the so-called touch-me-not sign. Okay, you can sit back down. Uh, so an, an exaggerated reaction in general is uh, uh, characteristic and an inconsistent response, positive straight leg raising uh, at one moment uh, and not positive or positive at a different angle at another moment would be an inconsistency and a positive Waddell sign, <clears throat> as is non-anatomical sensory loss, breakaway weakness, uh, all of these things are the Waddell signs. Uh, that can be indicative of uh, non-organic low back pain, but again, have to be 
interpreted carefully and uh, not over interpreted.